So in this video, I'm going to be installing Medicat in a SSD USB drive. So Medicat is a toolkit that helps compile a selection of the latest computer diagnostic and recovery tools into an easy to use toolkit. So Medicat is a toolkit and it has all kinds of tools, including virus remover, ransomware removal, and many more. So this is the Medicat website. And there are two videos here, and this will also show you how to install Medicat in a USB drive. Now, I'm not using a normal USB drive. I'm using an SSD drive, which is 120 gigabytes, but it's connected via USB into the computer. So I'm going to be using a Windows computer to install this Medicat in the USB drive. So the first thing I'm going to do in this Windows computer, I need to turn off some settings in Microsoft. Of Defender. So if you have an antivirus program, you might have to disable it to download the Medicat because the antivirus program might block certain files, certain ports. So I'm going to disable some of the settings in Microsoft Defender. So I open Microsoft Defender here. I'll click on Virus and Threat Protection. I'll click on Manage Settings here and I'm going to turn these off temporarily. So all these are off. I'm going to click on download and I'm using a Windows computer. I'm going to click on Windows and this is going to download a bat file. So I'll go to the downloads folder and this is the bat file. I'll open the folder. So I'm going to run the bat file. It gives you a warning here that Medicat might trigger your antivirus due to the many tools that it's downloading. So I'm going to hit enter. So it says welcome to the Medicat installer. Press any key to continue and hit enter. So this is all about license agreement. I'm going to hit enter. Now here you have to choose. Now the drive that I'm using is blank. I formatted it. So I'm just going to click on install Medicat. So this is downloading Ventoy. So on here, you have to choose the drive where you want to install Medicat. So you want to make sure that you choose the right drive. I'm going to take a look at the drives that I have. So the drive that I'm going to install Medicat in is drive D. So I'm going to choose D, click OK. So here it gives you a warning. So you have a chance to double check on the correct drive. I'm going to hit enter. It says, would you like to use GPT? I'm going to click yes. So it's installing Ventoy. So this is an important warning. Please verify that the drive letter has not changed. It's currently installing to drive D, which is in this computer. I'm going to hit enter. It's formatting the SSD drive. So here it says, could not find the Medicaid files. So it says, would you like to download them? I'm going to click on yes. And how would you like to grab the files? And it has two options, torrent or CDN. I'm going to click on torrent. So this is going to take a while to download. So it says the installer has completed. Press any key to continue. So it's completed. It's finished. I'm going to close this. So I'm going to open the USB drive. So the Medicat USB drive was created. So I'm going to boot up in the Medicat USB drive. Uh, this is it. I'll hit enter. So these are the tools. So this is the antivirus. And there's malware bytes. So this is malware bytes, and you can scan a computer with malware bytes to pick up any kind of virus, any kind of malware. This is backup and recovery, and these are some of the tools. Acronists, Aomi. We also have Macrium Reflect. I use this also. Rescuezilla. There's also Semantic Ghosts. This is the boot repair, and here are some tools. This is the boot repair disk, easy UEFI. This is a rescue talk. So this is the diagnostic tools. And we have a few of them here. This is the ultimate boot CD. So I'll select the petition tools. So these are a list of petition tools that you can use.
there's this congenius. This is parted magic. So this is the password removal tool. And there's also the Windows Recovery. And there's a Windows Recovery tool, Windows 10 Recovery tool, and a Windows 11 Recovery tool. So I'll click on the Live Operating Systems. I'll select Mini Windows 10. And this is going to boot up into a, a Mini Windows 10 operating system. Now I'm using a USB SSD drive, so it depends how fast the USB drive you're using. That's how fast it's going to load. So on the desktop, you have to reset the user password. I'll click on that, and here are some tools. There's even an SQL Server Password Changer. This is the Snappy Driver Installer. I'll click Allow Access. So on the desktop also, there's an icon here that says Portable App, and it's also on the taskbar. I'm going to click on it, and here there's a whole list of tools. So there's a list of BIOS tools. So there's disk tools. CC Cleaner, I've used that. Explorer Plus Plus, there's NTFS Permission Tools, there's a converter here, Partition Bad Disk, Recover. There's also drivers here, there's Display Driver Uninstaller, Driver Booster, there are also games, this is the Graphics and Pictures section. These are the hardware tools. These are the imaging tools. There's Etcher. There's Rufus also. And under the installing windows, there's media creation tools for Windows 10, 11, 8. Under the internet section, there's any desk, discard, free to open, VPN, there's party. There's Wireshark, there's Tor Launcher, and this is the Office section. So this is the ransomware decryption, and you can use these tools if a computer is infected with ransomware. So this is the registry tools. And these are some security tools, Malware Hunter, Super Anti-Spyware. These are utilities. So to get back to the original Medicat homepage, I'll have to restart. And here's a quick restart button. So there's a lot of free tools that you can use from this Medicat USB. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.